Hi, this is Mahesh Baliga. Please subscribe Art History Plus for interesting videos on art. Thank you. The jolly, jokey guy suddenly becomes grave. Oh, what a plot. Hi, this is Webhav from Art History Plus. Thank you for all your support. For this episode of Art Explained, we are discussing a very sensitive painting. Mother, I'm fine. Everything will be okay soon. Let me ask you a very simple question. Can a painting make you cry? We all live multiple lives, lives within lives and lives intersecting lives. Complicated, isn't it? Don't worry, I'll explain. This meta unraveling of our psyche is difficult to tap into. An artist has the ability to do that. Just that. And in today's artwork, the magician is Mahesh Baliga. We dive into the mind of Baliga at a very specific and life-altering time in his life. It's sad. This is the time where he lost his mother, his caretaker, companion and shield, a place of safe haven. And that led him into feeling the loss of something so incomparable as a mother. Mahesh told me that till then he hadn't experienced something as jarring as this. And in that his life shook. I personally know Baliga as a fun, lively person. I never knew him like this. And maybe that's why I was interested in this one rare indoor painting, not involving his usual landscapes. The work is a view of another person seen through a window. He is wary of our presence. His eyes are fixed down and his mind is elsewhere, reminiscing of a time gone by. From the window, we peek into the whereabouts of a bachelor's life. Yeah, right? I mean, empty house. I mean, come on, look at his table. It's all symbolic. This man is eating noodles in isolation, deep in thought. Or maybe he's numb. Depicting a very lone life are the bananas and his choice, or rather lack of choice, of fast food. The earthen pot is a standout. Something that you would find in an elderly person's house. It signifies that presence and care. And look, there is a letter addressed to his mother. Something he did all throughout his life, while she was alive. And this one remains unread by her. Maybe he wants her to see his pain and trauma. To really tell her his condition. In doing so, he makes the viewer come close to the work. The subject is painted in a sketchy way, almost hollow unresolved, as though he has no dimensions. Did you notice the background? There are two images, you know, picture in picture. <laughs> On the right is the TV show Layla, which follows a mother-daughter's relationship. And on the left, yeah, you know that one, it's Bupin Ghakar, it says iconic work you can't please all, but it's remixed. Here Bupin Ghakar is busy on his own mobile phone. And as we zoom out from the room, we see his outside. These metaphors are the events from the outside world that have started affecting him. This unfolding of the outside into the inside is something that Baliga hadn't experienced before. He logs the newspaper story of an abandoned baby. Here he emphasizes on its misery by exaggerating the water coming out of the baby's mouth. Everything about this work involves a parent, a relationship, yeah, and more importantly, of being detached and being alone. The mood of this painting almost looks like it's the evening, an evening, an anxiety-ridden theme done in Indian reds and mauve. There is a cycle that's set on fire. Look at it, a gold white fire. Somehow, that doesn't affect the man. He is unaware of the trauma in the real world. His own world is upside down and he grapples onto whatever he can find. Done in stark contrast to the brick grainy outside and the smooth calm insides, the maker is experiencing the state of the outside on his inside. And as we experience this very moment, this very private moment, he sets up a proposition for us. Can a painting 
make you cry please subscribe to art history plus please like comment and seriously please share this video thank you